going to the streets of OKC here. We have the Thunder uh, getting three points at the house versus the Sacramento Kings in this one. Huge question mark in this game. We don't know if De'Aaron Fox is going to play yet, guys. So uh, it's super tough to kind of make a bet on this game without knowing if he's in there. The total is sitting at uh, 234 and a half here, Ski. Um, or go, we'll go to you, Chris, this first time, my brother. Um, do, what do you think happens in this one? You think that uh, De'Aaron Fox plays or you think we should look towards the under? What are we doing here? Yeah, well, if De'Aaron Fox plays, and I, I, you know, I would guess that he he's not going to, right? I mean, this is a other second game in a row against the Thunder. Maybe they feel like they don't really need him. And the Kings have looked really good since the All Star break. Um, Kings are kind of a team that I want to fade a little bit, uh, just because of their lack of defense. But they've been showing up for sure and playing really good basketball. And De'Aaron Fox, I think he's uh, over 30 points in like nine of his last 11 games, just going off there for the Kings. So. You're going to want to look at the Kings a little bit differently if he does play tonight. But no Shea Gilgis Alexander either in this one, I'm pretty sure, um, what I saw last time. So it's just really hard to handicap this game. Could be just one of those games where the Kings just kind of chill throughout this, knowing that SGA is not out there, hoping they can get a win with Sabonis and some of their other role players. Um, obviously, when you face the same team twice, too, right, it's kind of hard to duplicate some of the results that you saw last time. This game just went under last time, too. It was at 239 and a half, ended at 239. Um, and, and I really don't have a play on the total either because, it's so again, it's hard to access without SGA and uh, possibly De'Aaron Fox as well. So because of the injuries, it's just a tough game for me. Nothing for me on this, although since the total has dropped a little bit, um, the, you know that just tells me the direction of the total. It, it was at 236. Now I think it's around 235, right? 235 and a half. It's it's ticking down a little bit. I think this could be a sleepier game tonight. So I lean to the under. No play on the sides. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Ski. Uh, I, there's no point in me even talking about this one until we know what's up with Fox. He's the best player by far on the Kings team, and I really think it changed the dynamic dynamic of the, of the team if he's out as well. Ski, how are you looking at this one? Yeah, I'll start off with what Chris was, you know, hinting at right there. Last time they played, it went under. I think the total was in the 240 range, and they dropped this one down to 238 and a half as the opener. Um, that's where I got in. I, I took the you under. You like that? Yeah. Well, when they when they <laughs> drop it and they just play, they dropping it for a reason. I mean, look at that last game. Both teams shot um, about 50 percent from the field. They both shot 40 percent or better from the three, and they just barely made it to 239. Fox had 33 points. This game, he's questionable. I think he was, you know, limited or whatever they said and shoot around this morning. I don't think he's going to go. And if you're missing his pace and his points, uh, it's going to be hard, you know, to get over that 238 and a half number. You put that with Shea Gilders Alexander being out with health and safety protocols. I think the Thunder have stayed under four of their last five games. Kings are 20 and 10 to the under on the road. Like this one under the, I bet it under 238 and a half. Uh, again, it's tough to give it out when, you know, you miss what, four points on the line right now but the only way I can look is the under. Yeah, that's a fact right there, man. Maybe they're kind of maybe they're kind of tipping their hand saying that maybe Fox is out. No, if Fox is out, I'd still play the under at this line, in my opinion. I think he's waste means too much to them offensively as well. And that means they won't get as many easy baskets in the paint. Because we know Fox drops to the paint basically every single time or hits the mid-range jumper. There'd be 33 points or like a good 30 for sure missing there. So if Fox is out, I'd still play the under at 234 and a half. I just need to know for a fact that he's out, guys. So that's the only way I'd look in that game. Um so we lean in towards the under in this game all three of us wait on De'Aaron Fox and that one guys